It was a bright, sunny day, and Bob the dog decided it was the perfect time for a summer picnic. He sent out invitations to all his friends, Princess Daisy, Eric, Nutty the squirrel, and Bubbles the bunny. They all eagerly accepted and agreed to meet at the big park near the lake. Bob arrived early to set up. He laid out a checkered blanket under the shade of the big oak tree and unpacked a basket filled with sandwiches, fruits, and treats. As his friends arrived, the park filled with laughter and excitement. "'This is the best idea ever, Bob!' Daisy exclaimed as she bit into a juicy apple. "'I agree,' said Eric. "'The perfect way to spend a summer day.' As they were enjoying their picnic, Nutty noticed something odd sticking out from the roots of the big oak tree. "'Hey, look at this!' he said, pulling out a dusty old piece of parchment. Bob, ever curious, took a closer look. "'It's a map!' he exclaimed. "'And it looks like it leads to a treasure!' Excitement buzzed through the group as they gathered around to study the map. It showed landmarks around the park, the old stone fountain, the rose garden, and the willow grove. At the end of the trail, marked with a big X, was their very own oak tree. This sounds like an adventure, Bubbles said, her eyes sparkling with excitement. The friends packed up their picnic and set off on the treasure hunt. They followed the map to the old stone fountain, where they counted the steps to the next clue. Nutty found the clue hidden under a loose stone. To the rose garden, where the flowers bloom, the next hint is hidden in the fragrant room. They hurried to the rose garden and searched among the flowers. Bubbles spotted a small wooden box tucked under a rose bush. Inside was a riddle. Find the grove of willow trees, where branches sway with the breeze. There you'll find the final key. At the willow grove, they found a key hanging from one of the low branches. The map showed they were close to the end. With hearts pounding with excitement, they returned to the big oak tree. "'We're back where we started,' Eric said, looking around. "'Look closer,' Bob suggested. "'The treasure must be here somewhere.' Nutty dug at the base of the tree, and soon enough, his paws hit something solid. Together, they unearthed a small wooden chest. Bob carefully opened it to reveal a pile of golden coins, shiny gems, and a note. The note read, Congratulations, you have found the treasure of friendship. May your adventures always be filled with fun and joy. They all cheered and celebrated their discovery. The treasure was a reminder of the fun and excitement they shared together. They spent the rest of the afternoon playing games and telling stories, knowing that the true treasure was their friendship. As the sun began to set, they packed up their things and headed home, promising to return for more adventures in the future. Bob the dog's summer picnic had turned into an unforgettable adventure, filled with laughter, excitement, and the magic of friendship.